Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Tyler, back with a brand new video. Today, we're talking about NBA 2K21. Before we get into it, I need you guys to smash that like button. Subscribe if you all new. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We're only a couple away. So, share the video with your friends, your family, your grandma, whoever it is. Let's get into NBA 2K21. So, the first topic that we have is the cover star, which only seems right that it's should be Kobe Bryant. Everywhere on all these articles that I read doing research for this video are people saying it should be Kobe Bryant. There's really not anybody else I can see that's in the league that's retiring or that's in the league in general that would probably get the the cover athlete. Like uh, Luke is just a little bit too young for it. Um, Dirk retired a little while ago and with Kobe's you know untimely death it only seems fair that he's going to be the cover star for NBA 2K21. Now the release date, this seems pretty straightforward. It seems to be September every year, no matter what. At least since I've been playing back in 2K12, it's been a September of every year. Sometime early September, like the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, something like that. So if you guys uh, had any questions about the release date, it's pretty much the same as every year. So with the new consoles that are supposed to be being released for a holiday of 2020, that would be the Xbox Series X and the PS5 as well. Um, with new hardware, they tend to find about a year to three before they figure out how to use that new hardware. So I wouldn't personally expect any updates in the gameplay for NBA 2K21, more so just graphical improvement uh, because there's not really a whole lot that they're going to be able to do with hardware that's getting released right as the game's getting released. There's no room to learn. Yeah, they have dev kits for maybe like a year, but it still requires some time to learn how to use the dev kits and the games and everything. So or how to program the games to use the hardware effective. So next, I've gathered from a couple articles five pieces of things, kind of from like a community wish list, if you will. So the biggest one that I've seen is a Kobe Bryant tribute tribute mode, uh, kind of like the MJ Jordan challenge. Um, I believe that was back in 2K11 or 2K12. It's, it's very fuzzy for me. Um, but kind of like the Jordan challenge mode, something like Kobe Bryant's most clutch moments or clutch games or high scoring games, which would be very interesting to play through the Toronto Raptors game where Kobe scored 81 points. Uh, that would be super fun for a Kobe Bryant challenge mode. Next, um, with the addition of the WNBA, people are asking for female my players. Now, it only seems right that eventually NBA 2K is going to start programming towards the WNBA My Career because the WNBA is getting more traction. Their players are starting to get paid more. It all seems right that they're going to eventually add a simultaneous My Career mode for your a female My Player. The next, which has been huge, we still use NBA or 2KMTCentral.com, or at least I still use 2KMTCentral.com for this, is a My Team Draft mode. Uh, Madden has it uh, soccer games, which I don't I don't remember the name of the soccer games But they have it and even like MLB has like a battle royale mode But 2k does not have a draft mode and realistically we need to put one in for 2k 20 It's gonna make content creators lives a lot easier, but even on like a gameplay um, Basis it's gonna be a whole lot more fun where you're not restricted to just using your cards and it kind of functions like a draft It's the same level like maybe the highest thing you can get in the beginning of the game is a sapphire so, I don't know, I, I'm very interested to see uh, if that ever gets plugged in, because I'm looking forward to that myself. So, next is another My Team one, kind of like Supermax. Personally, I was never a gigantic fan of, like, open gameplay with the cards. When I started playing, when I really got into My Team, because that was a few, a few years after I started playing 2K, I was really into My League and My GM and stuff. Um, when I really got into My Team... We had where you could only get like, you had to have so many bronzes, you could only have so many golds in this league, emeralds in this league, so like you worked your way up to having a better team. And it honestly made for more fair gameplay. And you got to figure out what the best cards were in that emerald bracket or in that sapphire ruby bracket, stuff like that. So personally, uh, like a super max mode where you had salary cap was kind of cool, but I would like it to go back to like the level progressions where you were allowed you were allowed three emeralds in the ruby league or something like that now i know that's not accurate because i don't remember what it was specifically but i would like to go back to a point where you worked your way up to having a better team and lastly which is kind of like a minute complaint but it seems to be one that reoccurs every single year and that is an all-star weekend standalone mode where you can go through the dunk contest you can set up the dunk contest you can go so the only way you can do this now is actually just like simulating to a my league and then playing through all-star weekend but more like a standalone mode, you can pick the players you want for the dunk contest, the three-point contest, the skills challenge, and then, you know, even the all-star teams, who you think should be an all-star. Maybe an all-star draft mode is initiated in this standalone mode. 
I think it'd be very interesting to see an All-Star Weekend standalone mode this year. Right, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about the game, or maybe you have some suggestions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to spark up a discussion. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if y'all are new. This has been your boy Tyler. Peace out, guys.